Hey guys, this is Poe with Let's Get Techie. Today we're going to take a quick look at a unique item. This is from a company called iMorden. This is an arm attachment that goes on top of your camera. This thing is called the 11 inch magic arm. Alright guys, all joking aside, let's take a quick look at this. This magic arm attaches to the camera via a cold shoe mount. After you slide it in, all you have to do is tighten it down. If you forget to tighten this nut down, it will be incredibly unstable. In my particular situation, I've decided to use this magic arm to mount my Samsung tablet to my camera. This scenario can work out in a few different ways. I use it to make sure everything is in frame and I don't end up with a shot of my forehead or the wall behind me. You could also use this to display any talking notes or specifications of something that you might be talking about. Theoretically, this could also be used to watch the chat in a live stream situation. After I mount my tablet onto my camera, I use an app called DSLR Dashboard, and I will link that down in the description. Uh, unfortunately, on my D3300, it has limited functionality. With some cameras, you're actually able to control just about everything you normally would on camera from the tablet. The downside is that this is not a free app, but it is reasonably priced around $8. If it gives you full control over your camera, it's well worth the money. This arm can also be used to mount something such as a second camera. Keep in mind that it has to be within reasonable weight. Obviously this is not going to hold uh, some large cinema style camera. In this instance, I use my iPhone SE. This is neat because it allows you to get multiple angles for one shot. I also tested a microphone attached to the arm. This works well if you're doing a shot that requires the camera to be slightly further away. It will make a huge difference in audio quality. The closer you can get to the mic, the better. I don't personally use any on-camera lighting, uh, so I didn't get a chance to mount a light to this arm, although I think that's probably going to be the most common use for it. The arm has a grip pad on the end that accepts attachments. Uh, this is just to ensure that whatever you're using is secured. It also features two very solid ball and socket style joints. These joints do offer 360 degrees of rotation. Here we see some of the information from iMorden. Uh, this shows the knob in the center of the arm actually uses two shims as well as what they call a high quality bearing. In their words, this is to provide a tighter locking of the arm to prevent any movement under weight. Uh, I've not had a chance to check their design against any of the competition, but I can attest that when you tighten down their dual shim design, it is near impossible to move the arm. I really do feel like this arm is well worth what I'm Ordens charging. Uh, you can get it for around 20 bucks, and there's not much else you can get for 20 bucks these days. Uh, in my opinion, this is a must-have for anyone who uses a camera on a daily basis. Alright guys, there you have it. Uh, I think this is incredible value for money. Um, I will say that I also own a slider from Immorden. Uh, it's been great. I've actually used that in quite a few of the shots that you guys have seen on the channel. Um, that's it. I appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for the next one. See ya.